All right, so there's the fungus in the follicle. Now look over here. We see another follicle, but this one is filled and distended with neutrophils, and it's got some inflammation in the dermis around it. All right, so this is a, a pustular folliculitis or separative folliculitis. Now, normally when we see this, it's often associated with cocci bacteria, but in this case where there's dermatophyte fungus present, probably this indicates that there's more of that fungus growing down into the hair follicle with associated folliculitis, so kind of a fungal um, uh, folliculitis associated with dermatophyte. And I don't see any of the hyphae in here, but that's probably what's going on. And so I actually pulled a couple extra slides from this case, other sections to see if we could see it more clearly. Here's another view of that same follicle. And look at the difference, just a slightly different uh, section just a little bit deeper into the block and you've got the pustule again in the follicle and jackpot we can actually see the fungus right there so again the you know the sampling and the sectioning uh, can really make a difference and especially this is a case that's really pretty loaded with fungus sometimes the fungal organisms are much more sparse than this so there's there's a dermatophyte fungus extending down a hair follicle and so when we see this, this, this kind of finding often goes hand in hand with what is called Miyake's granuloma, M-A-J-O-C-C-H-I, Miyake granuloma. So these, you know, lesions look more kind of indurated and firm plaques clinically and have a granulomatous appearance. And what I was always taught and what the books say is that Miyake's granuloma is supposed to be dermatophyte fungus causing a folliculitis, and then the folliculitis ruptures and the fungus and the inflammation spills out into the dermis. But I'll tell you that in practice, I have, I have almost never actually seen the fungus out in the dermis around the follicle. Almost always when I see lesions that clinically fit for Miyake's granuloma, microscopically what I see is just dermatophyte with folliculitis, and then there's perifollicular inflammation of varying amounts but I don't actually identify the fungus in the dermis. So even though the, the books say, at least what I've read, say that the fungus should be spilled out of the follicle into the dermis, I feel like in practice I almost never encounter that. And instead, if I just see fungal folliculitis like this with dermatophyte um, hyphae down in the follicle, to me that's enough to fit with what, what clinically is called Miyake's granuloma. So anyway, you can, you can do some more reading about the, uh, that if you like, but that's been my experience at least. Let's look at another uh, another section on here, because it's a pretty nice example. And here's a different follicle out towards the edge of the shave biopsy. And what do we see? The same thing going on. We see the fungal hyphae up here in the stratum corneum. Look at again how compact that orthokeratin is. I find that real dense pink orthokeratin right away, I think, of dermatophyte. And then we see these fungi going down this opening this infundibulum of a hair follicle with associated neutrophils. And again, the neutrophils kind of spill through the, the follicle and outside, but the fungus in this case, again, is confined to the follicle, at least in the sections that, that I've uh, looked at. And here's another follicle with a little bit more of the same, some fungi here. And so, um, I, if I recall correctly, Miyake's granuloma is often on like the, the anterior legs is where you tend to see this for some reason. The other place where you can see dermatophyte causing a folliculitis involving the hair follicle is in the scalp in the setting of tinea capitis. Um, and we don't often see that biopsy, but when you do, um, you'll see, you know, numerous follicles just completely loaded with fungus either in the hair shaft or surrounding the hair shaft or a combination of those. And then a brisk inflammatory response with it. And so you can see this same kind of pattern in, um, in, um, in tinea capitis, uh, tinea of the scalp. And I think there is another section over here. Yeah, where you can see the same thing again. That follicle we just looked at and look now as we cut deeper it kind of opens up more we see more of the inflammation in there and more of the dermatophyte fungal hyphae so this is an, a nice case to demonstrate this concept and also it's a good reminder of just how much things can change from section to section and why we order deeper levels so often in dermatopathology because oftentimes the deeper level really uh, saves the day and shows us the finding of interest well i hope you enjoyed that a uh, nice example of of uh, dermatophyte fungus involving hair follicles.